Chris Hamlick, DC, and today we're going to be talking about how to know if you're suffering with an autoimmune condition. How do you know if you're autoimmune? Well, how do you know if your autoimmune system is attacking your body? Now, what we do is we run different type of tests to see, especially for the thyroid, um, to see if that thyroid is being attacked and you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Specifically, we do a TPO and a TPG antibodies. And this can be tested just through a simple blood test. Here's a good clue that you have an autoimmune disease, is that you've tried everything. I mean, you've been out there, all type of different doctors, and you still have the same symptoms. And if you're taking a ton of different supplements and still feel cruddy, chances are you've got an autoimmune condition. I had a patient come in about four weeks ago, and she came in with a bag of 36 different supplements. The crazy thing is, she still felt horrible. And just as a side note, that's way too many supplements to be taking. Too much for anybody to be on. Okay, um, That's called a shotgun approach. We, we don't really endorse that in our office. Another way that you're going to know if you have an autoimmune condition is um, that your symptoms may kind of wax and wane back and forth. So symptoms that kind of wax and wane back and forth it's a sure sign that most likely you're suffering from an autoimmune condition. Now, here's something to remember. Autoimmune conditions tend to run in packs. So what I mean by that is that if you know you already have one condition, then you're more likely to have several conditions that are autoimmune related. So if you've been diagnosed with things like uh, uh, Sjogren's, uh, syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, psoriasis, ulcerative colitis, um, lupus, and you've got some hypothyroid symptoms and, and or hyperthyroid symptoms, chances are you've got an autoimmune problem called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Another way to tell is that um, if your life just totally fell apart after you got sick, or you had a huge stress or physical trauma in your life. Uh, also, if you've got a big stack of uh, medical records, sky high, from going from doctor to doctor to doctor, who can't really find out why you're having all this uh, pain and suffering, that's another strong indication. Now, many women develop an autoimmune condition following pregnancy. Usually women are what's called TH2 dominant in their third trimester. However, postpartum, they become TH1 dominant. What's that mean? It basically means that your immune system gets out of balance. And as I've mentioned, you know, the final note to this is that there's positive testing that can be done via immune panels like TPO and TPAB antibodies. See, your immune system is designed to protect you. When your immune system runs amok and it attacks you, attacks different parts of your body, that's a bad thing. And if that does happen, it's important for you to know and to realize that once you know that you have an autoimmune condition, you need to get it checked. You need to manage that. You need to manage that autoimmune condition, not just take thyroid medications. I see people every single day in our office who have histories that scream that they've got an autoimmune condition, yet they continue to suffer because no one's looked over them as a whole picture. Now, if you're suffering and you'd like to become a patient in our office, uh, you can just hit the tab button at the top of the website here um, or give Margie a call at 480-991-9355. I'm Dr. Heimlich. Thank you for listening.